Hello Dota fans and welcome to my Dota 2 coaching session. Uh, this is the first one I've done and uh, it's the first of two actually with a cool guy that I just met named Tragic and he asked me to go over a few things and give him my thoughts on Shadowfiend. And so we hopped into a practice game and I just went over a few things with him and this is the first video of two so there will be another one coming out soon uh, it's a little bit longer actually about uh, Faceless Void so stay tuned for that keep your eye open for that and uh, I hope this is good and helps a lot of people and I hope you all enjoy so, so do you know what think, every uh, item Shadow is? Fiend. Uh, yeah. By the way, uh, in your email you mentioned that not not to get a shadow blade. Well, shadow blade is one of the recommended items for shadow fiend, so he can use mm -hmm. his ultimate properly, right? Yeah. Um, a lot of the re recommended items aren't necessarily the items that you should be getting on each hero. Uh, they can be decent guidelines, but if you get the recommended items, you're not always going to uh, you're not always going to optimize your gold and max potential. Um, don't worry too much about this. We're, we're not actually going to play this game out, really. Um, I just want to jump into a practice game so I could actually look at the items as we talk about them and stuff. Um, okay. But, uh, so like Shadow Blade on Shadow Fiend is not necessarily a good idea just because um, typically you want to go for a blink dagger and a black king bar. Do you usually get a black king bar when you play Shadow Fiend? Or if you play uh, yeah, Shadow Fiend? I prioritize Shadow Blade since uh, my uh, ult um, because I don't trust blink dagger so much because if I'm hit at least once right I'm not able to use blink dagger like mm -hmm. it has a three second cooldown, right? Mm hmm But I'll give it a shot. I've never given it a shot. My friends always yeah. recommend Shadow Blade, but you're a much better player, I assume, so I'll give the, Blink Dagger a shot. The and biggest the problem with Shadow Blade is, uh, Black King Bar. Yeah. The the Black King go. Bar is the best. I mean, you can't go wrong really with a Black King Bar and pretty much any hero because it gives you that ten second magic immunity which is just insanely amazing and it's a relatively cheap item too it's only 3900 gold uh, the problem with the shadow blade is that it's 3300 gold it'll give you uh, decent stats but they're not that great and the invisibility can be easily countered by the other team if they just get a dust, a sentry ward, or a gem. And if they get any of those, then you might be boned. Um, the blink dagger, if you've ever used one before, it has a huge radius. So generally you can find a pretty good hiding spot and then blink into a team fight. But typically you want to have your blink or your blink and your BKB at the same time before you do that because otherwise there's a good chance they'll get interrupted approximately what time should I be having both those items um you know it's just it's so hard to say in a pub game because you're always going to be farming differently um you know like in a in a pro game you'll see them pick it up pretty quick do you watch pro games ever international I did watch CLG, did you watch the international RPG and then uh, cool. uh, yep I did okay cool um, did you did you watch them in the game client itself by any chance or did you watch it on a stream like Toby's stream or something uh, I watch it inside the game okay that's really cool that's that's really good because you can actually um, study more so what their gameplay is like by um, 
setting the camera to their perspective if you use the player perspective and uh, you know jump to whoever it is you want to watch if they're playing Shadow Fiend you want to see how they do it in a pro game you know generally that's a really good way to do it and you can kind of study how they play and what they do and what items they pick up and stuff um, the the problem though with pub games is that it's gonna be a lot different I mean you're not gonna have a coordinated team you're not gonna be able to rely you know on your team too much to help you out I mean when you play solo you gotta kinda be ready to be solo um, so it's a little it's a little tricky I mean the the cool thing about playing with a team is you can rely on them to back you up most of the time so um, that's why a lot of pubs will go for that shadow blade because it is more a little bit more of a self-reliant item however um, on shadow fiend if you can just farm up the blink dagger and the BKB it will be much you'll be much better off going with that if you can farm that up um, the blink ba dagger can be a little tricky to farm up sometimes just because you have to pay for the whole thing up front you know it's 2150 up front and there's no build up to it unlike the shadow blade you can get one piece of it for 900 the next one for 1400 and the recipe for a thousand and uh, so typically in a game if I play shadow fiend I would actually go for like the BKB first if I'm having a hard time because I can get the um, I can get the ogre club first for a thousand gold and then a thousand six hundred gold get the methro hammer and then the recipe for a thousand three hundred and that's a lot easier to build up than just saving up for a blink dagger but if you do start out really well and you just happen to have you know 2150 sitting around go ahead and pick up the blink dagger first um, I, I really like rushing the black king bar though because typically what I'll do is just wait till the other team initiates on my team and then I'll just run in there with the black king bar and activate the ultimate and you're gonna be able to get a decent alt off that way they won't be able to interrupt you unless they have an ability or something that goes through BKB I see so you do so know as a mid carry hero uh, I'm supposed to buy a bottle right you've said so in the email yeah yeah I'm pretty much every mid hero you get a bottle there are a few exceptions like uh, invoker even you don't necessarily need a bottle some invokers get bottles but it all just depends